good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. Now, today we're going to be doing a YouTube first as far as I know. It's probably not, but as far as I can find it is. It's certainly not a first ever, but it's certainly a YouTube first as far as I know. So, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be taking the X piece from the bonnet. Uh, we're going to use a scrap bonnet, which was originally on my red car. I'm going to take the X piece out of that to put on the new bonnet that I've got because the new bonnet is just a skin and although that's probably okay for most people and race cars and things with me having the flip front the, a lot of strength is in the bonnet so I think we need to make sure that we can try and get some more strength back in it. So it's not really a how to because I've never done it before but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what tools I'm using hopefully to do the job and then also as well we can and I'll show you the bonnet as well so let me put you over to the bench and you can see exactly what I'm going to try and use. Right then boys and girls we've got a selection of items here for you first of all is this a grinding mask now you need these there's so many posts recently on Facebook and things like that of people using these the grinders going straight in there and it's getting stuck in there rather than your face and it, it, it's just a must, you know what I mean? It, a couple of quid, they, they are an accessory. Please, please, please get yourself one. I just used to use glasses, but then when you think, I like my face as well, I think my wife does. She might like it a bit. So let's try and keep them beautiful looks, boys and girls. So that's number one. Get yourself a pair of gloves. They don't have to be very thick. I mean, I used to, when I used to do grinding quite a lot, I used to wear like Kevlar gloves. They can, they can get in the way and they can be quite pricey, so even that, if it just nicks that rather than your skin, that's, that's much better. So get yourself a pair of gloves as well. Again, one, two pounds, something like that. A mask. This seems to be quite a good mask, really. Put that out there. So yeah, that's a, just, a, just a dust mask. Again, nothing special. I will be getting something a bit more special than that for when I do other jobs on the car, but I think that'll certainly do for now. So just a mask. And then the two tools, uh, we're gonna try and use that. I don't think that's gonna cut it enough. So we might have to get the big boy out. And I'm in the grinder, nothing else, dirty boys. There's a boys and girls. So I'm gonna get the bonnet, put it on here, and then we shall take it from there. Right then, this is the bonnet. I'll be honest with you, it's not in terrible condition, to be fair. It's it's really quite quite good condition really. It's, it's got a cut in it there for some unknown random reason. I don't know what that might have been. Well, that's, so you might have to look at repairing that. It did have, if you can see there, and you can see on that side, it did previously have uh, like bonnet strap uh, like bonnet straps onto it. So again, it's got holes in it. It's got dings, dings in it. Uh, yeah, dings. It's got dings in it, it's got a uh, crease along the top here. Yeah, it's it's not too bad for a bonnet to be fair, and it probably is savable, but for what I need, I need this section here. So this is a section I am going to be aiming to take out today. So I reckon it's spot welded in places. Uh, how many is on it, I am not sure. So what we need to do is to get a safety gear on, and we need to see if we can scratch back this surface and see what is actually holding this on. Right then, let me update you where we're up to. So, what I've decided to do is I'm gonna actually chop it along here. Uh, you can't see the top, but I will show you where we'll cut that when I cut it. So we're gonna do this side and this side as well to see if we can just get it off there. Like I say, it's a scrap bonnet and this is not a how-to, so do not use this as a how-to. This is just a first for YouTube of taking this X piece off. So, like I say, what I'm gonna do is cut it there cut it there and then we'll work it we'll spin the bonnet round and we'll do the top as well Right, I know I'm getting a bit washed out by the light here, but that's both bottom sides done now, so we're going to flip it round. Again, I only showed you one side because it's exactly the same process, so 
we're going to flip it around we're going to do the top the top corners so again i'll show you one corner cut it off and then hopefully this should this should release with a bit of luck Right then, so that is what a bonnet looks like without an X piece on it. It's great how they just don't paint fuck all them. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. So let's have a look at the inside of this. Yeah, it looks very usable to be honest. Right, let me uh let me move the bonnet and then we can focus this on the bench because this is what this is the bit that we're after. So this is the section we was after really. So <coughs> there's a couple of reasons why I just end up cutting it out rather than trying to go through the spot welds. One, the spot welds were very difficult to find, but the main reason is look how much I've still got there to spot weld, and on the bottom here. Look how much I've still got there of a flat piece to spot weld. Let me just turn it around so you can see it in the uh... As you can see that, but I've still got quite a flat section there to spot weld on. So to be honest, because I wasn't using the bonnet again, it was worth it. I don't know why it's been cut. Can you see it? There. Makes no sense, but there you go. So that is an X piece removed from a classic mini bonnet. So like I say, there's the, the, the still quite a bit usable on that, as in the sections where I've chopped it. Tried to chop it as nice as I could, but it's a grinder and it'll, it'll do the job. So I'll neaten all that up and then we'll offer that into the new bonnet just to make sure it fits. I'm also going to take off all the brackets that I don't need. The, there's the bonnet catch on it, uh, where, you, where you hold it up by, there's the two. Uh, sections for actually levering the bonnet because obviously it's going to come up with the front end so yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with that I'm pretty pretty pleased with how, how quicker that came out really I mean, it's a minute they're not they weren't put together very well some of them were they so it doesn't surprise me I should imagine it looking at it it probably had probably had about three maybe two or three spot welds per per section but it just wasn't worth trying to drill them out to be honest when you can just cut it and still have what you need really so yeah, so pretty happy with that. 